I propose you one more variety of Christmas souvenir, based on the same snowflake, supplemented with a goat, invented by Svetlana Pustelga from Strana Masterov, Land of Masters website. The goat is very positive, it arouses lots of positive emotions in anyone who sees it. I've tried it once and I like it at first blush. When I noticed that the star is volumetric, I decided trying to place a goat inside. I believe the result is rather nice. The goat can be posed differently, its head, legs and arms. It is such a nice and funny Christmas souvenir. So, we've gotten to know how to make a decoupage star. Now let's get to know how to make a woven one. Here are eight couples of tubes. I weave a regular round bottom. We know how to make it. The size of a bottom depends on the size of Christmas motif I'm going to apply. Or if I make a star with a goat inside, I usually weave three rows on uh, double tubes and then three, four rows on separated tubes. In this case, I get a star of about this size. So, I've woven three rows. Now let's divide pairs of tubes into separate single tubes. By the third, fourth row, the intervals between the tubes become equal. I've tried using single tubes instead of doubled ones, but by the third, fourth, especially fifth row, the intervals between the tubes become too big and the article doesn't look neat enough. That's why I've decided not to save the tubes, but to weave on double tubes. Afterwards, we will cut every other tube. So, I've woven such a bottom, tucked the working tubes in from the wrong side. The diameter of my bottom is about 9-10 cm, which is about 4 inches. But I've got too many tips sticking left. I'm going to weave an 8-point star, so I cut every other tube. There used to be 16 poles, 16 tubes, now there are 8 left. I get rid of these excessive tips as well, otherwise they would interfere. That's all. We've got 8 beams. Now, I mark a point at about an inch, 2.5 cm, from the bottom and bend the tubes. I don't draw any dots, just bend. So this way I bend all the eight tubes. Now look, this is the wrong side, that is the front one, turn towards the wrong side. Well, actually I could bend the tubes towards the wrong side from the beginning, but anyway. Here are our beams. Now following the same principle I've shown you, we wrap the tubes. Here you can drop some glue to fix the working tube at once to prevent it from sliding, which will make the process easier. Here is a subtle nuance. If you need a more volumetric article, as for example for a candlestick, by the way, here is one more Christmas souvenir candlestick, then, while wrapping the tubes round, I lift them a little, like this. 
As for a goat, the volume we got from wrapping is enough, so in this case I don't lift the tubes, I just wrap them around like this. I've already shown you how to wrap the tubes round, how to lengthen the tubes. If I have to lengthen a tube or just to stop, I fix the article with a closer spin to avoid unwrapping. So we make four or three, sorry, four or five rows, depending on the type of tubes we use for making a goat. It is also an interesting point. Goats can be different. If I make a goat with regular thick tubes, it is big. If I make it with thin tubes, the goat is small and the star needed is smaller as well. Thanks again to Svetlana for the idea. It is just great. It raises people's spirits. You can play with the goat's dresses, color, color of its arms and legs. Anyways, the expression of uh, the goat's face is always positive. Then we hand the stars on a rope and get such a nice Christmas decoration. In the same way, we weave a candlestick. It consists of six or seven rows. As I have already said, while wrapping the tubes, we lift them a little. As a result, we get such a bowl. A small glass with a candle inside fits in very well. I've painted this one dark bronze. This one is painted golden tint. These ones are painted bronze tints as well. These paints have been used composite acrylic enamel, metallic, so we can choose blue, golden, silver, different tints of bronze. The result of the effect is very nice. I wish you good luck on making Christmas souvenirs. Thanks a lot to Inspires. I wouldn't have done without them. Looking forward to new ideas.